Hey, check on field fans, what's happening? Trusting that everybody's okay and everybody's all right. You know, whole lot of things still are going on in the media and the people. So, basically, we want to talk about two topics. Jahil Hyde and an update on Akeem Bloomfield. Yeah? So, let's kick it off with Jahil Hyde. Of course, you know, Jahil Hyde is a representative, Jamaica representative in the hurdles 400 meter hurdles and um he's training overseas but he recently posted on his instagram account that he has received his national c coaching license and that is in football they call it soccer you understand and that is a big thing for uh jahil hyde um obviously he's planning to do some coaching football coaching soccer coaching when he finish track and field um i don't know if this is an indication that he's making the transition remember jail did that jail was a talented footballer and still is a good footballer but there was a toss-up between track and field and football and he actually chose track and field um, of course, he got him a big Puma contract and all the, all the likes. So, this is a good thing that he's doing. I mean, this is basically um, someone having forward thinking and, you know, thinking about their future. And definitely when track and field is over, he will have something to do. He'll have something to, to basically rally back on. You understand? So big up and congratulations to Jail Hyde. You understand if if a lot of these athletes could you know do something in the interim um, while they train, do classes, do this, do that, you know, to ensure that they're upskilling themselves for the future. Because listen, sports sports life is is a short life, you know, for some people. You know, um, Jail has been doing it from the youth ages, yes, but not many athletes stick around for a long period of time not many athletes are like Shelly not many are like Ver Vernica Campbell Brown you understand so it is a good thing that Jail did and he said that yeah he's moving up the ladder and this is after four grueling months and he's proud of himself and he continued to you know trod on so next thing you might hear is so that Jail have the B license you understand so big up yourself Unseen, as he said, it can't go on, it can't work. Yeah, man, big up on yourself, man. So let's quickly talk about um, the man that many persons want to know about. Akeem Bloomfield, the man that ran 43, 90, uh, 94, just outside the national record. National record is held by Rasheen McDonald, 43.93. Yeah, and one Bob is going for it this year. Um, definitely would love to see that happen or if he could challenge it. You understand? Um, Akeem is the only man that ran um, 44 at champs. Yeah, so he's the only man that ran 44 at champs. Um, that was an incredible feat. I mean, Javon Francis ran it, but it, that was his flash time. And, you know, them bring it back to whatever it was. Yeah, so that is that. So, Akeem, very talented youngster. He left Kingston College and went to Auburn. Blaze the trail at Auburn. Um, and because of how good he was doing, he decided to take up a yes man he decided to take up a professional career right and um that moved him on from auburn signed a mega deal with puma and they went over to florida to mvp international um since he went there um i think he has had a, a several injuries <clears throat> sorry and he was, you know, trying to resuscitate his career. He went over to Rainer Raider, joined the camp of Christopher Taylor. Uh, basically, it was a short stint. Then he went to a former Jamaican 400-meter runner, Sanjay Air. You understand? 
I think it's Chase Athletic, something like that. I don't remember the name exactly. But he went to that camp and he was basically trying and trying. Because he, he has had times where he has not run. And people, yes, when the athletes them get injured, injured, they basically they affect them mentally, you know. Each time they want to push, they are so afraid that, you know, something might pop again. Uh, they might get injured again. So these things really work on the athlete's mind. So he was trying his best to, you know, maneuver things. Uh, he lost his mother in that in that particular time. So he I probably probably see where he took a year off and I guess he started to get demotivated in the sport because each time he tries, he's worried about him getting injured and you know, it's like nothing is happening for him. Nothing is turning. You understand? So that that was what, what was a thing with Akeem Bloomfield. And I'm telling you know, people, sometimes you make a decision and it not work. So he decided to leave school and go pro. That decision didn't pay too much dividends because he didn't actually matriculate. I think it worked for a short period of time for Nathan Allen, where Nathan, you know, went to what you'd call it world championship. I think he finished fifth at uh, one particular time, and he he had, he, he ran on a few four by one mixed four by four sorry a few mixed relays and so forth. So it would have been a better um, option in terms of what you'd have achieved for Nathan Allen. But based off all of this that is happening or has happened to Akeem. I think he decided to put Chuck and Phil on hold, put Chuck and Phil on hold to pursue his dream. And uh, information reaching the coach's desk is that he is off to school. So him going back to school, people, to pursue his dream. Hey, remember that you, there's a bright youth, you know, you understand he's very bright, very brilliant. And um I think some I think there there's some neurosurgeon thing he wanted to study. I'm not sure if that is a pathway that he has gone back to, but from what I am understanding, from what I'm hearing, from what I'm gathering, um, is that he is off back to school. So possibly he has put track and feel on old right now. But you know that going up people. Once he put it on hold, you know, said so that now really probably happen because you're gonna miss out so many years and to get back into that rigors of the grueling 400 meter training. Mm -mm. So basically, we can say Akeem Bloomfield basically finished with the sport, you know. You understand? And it is sad that this talented athlete, you know, decide to walk away and you can understand. And if you don't understand, then I don't know. But based off what he has gone through, I think it is one of the wise decisions to do. So he, he was at a school, got a scholarship, left that scholarship to go professional, and it didn't work out. Now he's back to school. I mean, that must be challenging. Um, but it is what it is. And I wish him all the best in that endeavor. And it would have just been good to see him at least, you know, try out for this Olympic year and see how it goes. But trust me, when at least them have issues with injuries, there's nothing you can say to convince them because they are the ones feeling. They are the ones, you know, feeling the pain. And, and, and that's why when people say that Johan Blake should quit, you don't know. Johan Blake is the one going through training. His body is going through the rigors of training. He knows what his body is feeling. You understand? So he indicated that this is his last aura. So there you have it, people. Who did I say Johan for cut a long time? I think this would be his last outing if he makes the Olympic team. You understand? But I wish Akeem Bloomfield all the best. And we hope that things will work out for him. Share your thoughts in the comment section. I'm out.